Hey everyone, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and um, I got a video that is a uh, an update from something I did a couple months ago, where I had uh, shot some footage on the uh, on the Canon Vixia HF G50 and G60. Uh, it was outdoors, and it was um, some night footage, uh, particularly or specifically of the moon. And what I was doing is I was recording out of the the G60 into the uh, Atomos Ninja Flame, and in that uh, comment section of the video, I had mentioned that I had stumbled across potentially um, an improved quality that you can get out of the camera, but I didn't want to mention what it was because I didn't have an opportunity to truly test it um, or replicate it. Uh, the opportunity for me to get back outside in, in, on a clear night uh, where the weather was, wasn't too cold, wasn't too hot, it was a, a decent evening and I had a, a good shot at the moon, didn't present itself for several months. So, um, so finally, here recently, I was able to get outside and get the shot and I was able to uh, validate what I was thinking. So um, at, at, at the end of this, I'm gonna show some footage to, to show what I'm about to explain. So the Canon Vixie HFG60 has an HDMI output that you can connect to a, a field monitor or a field recorder, an external recorder, such as the Atomos Ninja Flame. Okay, the output resolution of the G60 and the G50 for that matter is 1080p regardless of what you're recording on the camera. And that is 10 bit, 422 10 bit, which is, which is pretty cool. So anyway, um, the Atomos Ninja Flame can record at uh, into its HDMI input at 1080p, ProRes 422, 10-bit. So it's, it's, to me, it was a perfect marriage uh, between the G50 and or the G60 and the Atomos Ninja Flame. All right, so um, where the kind of the twist comes is uh, in the initial video, I had noticed when I shot in 4K on the camera, the signal that went out to the Atomos Ninja Flame, although again, it's 1080p, 422 10-bit, going into the Atomos Ninja Flame, which is ProRes 422 10-bit, 1080p, the quality and uh, the, uh, it's, it seemed like the, uh, the shadows in, in were, were, were deeper and richer when I sent it out when, when I recorded in the, um, the, the ultra high definition on the camera. So um, here recently I was able to set the camera up, shooting 4K using um, the uh, wide dynamic range and the C-Log3 cu uh, custom profiles on the camera. And I was able to get that uh, improved quality to come through, and you'll see it here in this footage I'm about to roll right after I'm done sharing uh, a little bit about it. When I went and set the camera to uh, normal mode where there is no increased gain by the camera and it's just basically just shooting through uh, uh, the regular profile, it wasn't quite as extreme. Um, there was there was still an improved quality in three in 4K over 1080p, but it just it wasn't as much. So um, anyway, that's all I'm going to say about it. I'm going to show the footage now. If you guys have any questions about what I what I'm explaining or, or what this footage is showing, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the section below or email me at bbuck822 at gmail.com. Um, I would be more than happy to try to replicate this in other types of shots. I just, it was easy for me to do it with the moonshot 
uh, because it's at night, there's no other lights, I'm focused on a single lit object, and there is uh, uh, whites in, uh, bright, brights and darks all on the same image. So it, it made it real easy for me to do this test. Um, again, uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Uh, until then, I look forward to uh, seeing your comments and talking to you soon, okay? Bye-bye now.